Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about performance. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on a video I made about TypeScript and why at least I feel that TypeScript is one of my, if I would, I would go as far as to say it's probably my favorite language, at least now, uh, with Rust coming in as a very, very strong second. And basically in that video I explain that from my perspective, once the, the uh, big float, um, well, the big float data type comes into the standard library for JavaScript, I would see no reason why not why anybody would you would use anything except Node and TypeScript to basically build every single uh, standard web application out there. And the question was, but Frederick, what about performance? The JVM is known for its performance benchmark and is one of the main reasons Java is heavily still used today. Well, uh, I would say that there's a quite there's a divide. Like I, I completely agree with you. Like there are benchmarks where specific frameworks and libraries and so forth have been proven within, like with Java, to be extremely performant. And uh, in the video that this person was posting it on, I explained basically that one of the benefits of using, say, Node.js and TypeScript and so forth, or Deno, if like if you're going to go that and then go down that route, is that it's performant by default. And the thing is that Although that is a nice thing to have, it's certainly not the most common reason as to why you would pick a specific language. And the same thing goes for Java. So Java, uh, you may or may not know, that has been criticized many, many times for being unperformant, memory hungry, etc., etc. There are many people who are, will line up and say bad things about the thing that we're talking about because it's all contextual and contextual like what do you are you comparing it to if you prefer if let's say for the sake of argument that you compare the memory usage between java and c or the like execution time or anything like that it's like it's a world apart and the same thing would go for other languages like rust has a lot of i mean it's the it's the common thing it's the most easiest like i i will go as far as to say that it's probably the most common sales pitch every single language has and for those of you who've been around for long enough to know like within the days before say node.js uh, this is at least from when, from when i started uh, getting into it so it used to be the case that java was used as the reference point right and then node.js came along and of course they used the same damn uh, like it, it's just one of the sales pitches right node.js is super performant etc etc because performance matters to everybody so it's always a good thing to add that into whatever you're saying right and it's just like uh, i think they were using ruby and rails as an example because ruby came along uh, as well before node.js and became like this super super success and twitter was using it if i remember correctly and like then i like, but then the discussion wasn't about performance it was just the simplicity of usage right and delivery speed that's the thing that was mattering, right? And then the performance thing became a sales pitch for Node, and the performance thing became also a sales pitch for, say, Golang, that came and kind of started taking away some of the high the spotlight from Node and so forth. And then Rust comes and does the, does the same sort of thing. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that performance matters, but only to a certain point. And when people are making decisions as to why they're picking one stack over another it is actually very rare that it comes down to something as quote-unquote one-dimensional as performance and I will tell you right now that uh, at least from my perspective the main reason why people are picking Java and it's still heavily used today it has nothing to do with its performance I would say that that's probably one of the last things anybody thinks about when they think about Java as their main stack the main reason is because of the brand first and foremost that it's a big language as a state uh, that, that's like number one and there's a lot of reasons as to like one main reason 
marketing and so forth, where and the fact that it's been around forever, uh, as to why that is. It's an embedded part of a lot of companies. A lot of companies are using it, and therefore, by extension, it continues being used. The second thing is that the ecosystem is mature. It's it's an old language. It's been around for long enough that it's established. And a lot of people know it already, and the tools are all there, and like it kind of, it's been proven, it's battle tested, all of these good stuff, all that that sort of good stuff. Java, in many people's opinion, I would I would argue, represents the safe choice. It's the conservative choice for whatever you're doing. I don't think that's a hundred percent fair all the time, but it is a lot of people's opinion, right? And that's why I'm saying, like performance. If you were about performance as your primary thing, you would not pick Java. Not n not by a long shot. It would probably not be on your top five list. Because, but, but what I'm saying is that if you're trying to optimize for specifically performance, then your considerations are different from if you're trying to find something that is going to be a good fit for multiple angles. And that's the thing I'm trying to address with when I'm saying that, in my opinion, Node.js to get or demo uh, together with TypeScript would be the optimal uh, stack for practically all. Co uh, all I w I'll go as far as to say for all practically web-based startups uh, and even for like even large corporations and so forth. And the reason why I'm saying that, like I was just mentioning performance as being something that is a nice to have, like that it, there is a benefit there because it is performance and it will scale. I mean, it will scale to a fairly high degree. And if you look at companies such as say Netflix. It scaled really, really well, and sure, even Netflix are migrating over to. I think that I even think that they like they. I mean, some companies are using Go, and I think they were actually looking at say Spring Boot and so forth. So I mean, it's not that the performance thing is the uh, all and answer to like why you would pick something like Node.js. From my perspective, if you were to pick say TypeScript and a Node-based stack over something like Java, it would be because you would have the same code. It's like it's the same language. I mean, if you have Java and you have a web platform, you have JavaScript as well. It's just that you're using Java for the backend. But anything that you could possibly express of in, in within reason of for, for a standard project, is it's possible to do in JavaScript. Like it's all possible to do. Like there's no reason, like there's nothing Java is giving you that TypeScript and a node backend won't give you, if that makes sense. And the and then the benefit of the fact that now you have one single language, you can share the code between the front and the back, and if you wanted to, uh, you know that uh, Java has, uh, like it's one of the most easiest languages in the world to hire for. And at the same time, it's kind of hard because everybody is trying to snipe your people. But JavaScript is even bigger. If you're looking for developers, there's nothing easier than to find a JavaScript developer. That's like the easiest thing that you can possibly do. So from a hiring perspective, it's great. From a learning perspective, like in terms of resources and community awareness and energy and hunger and innovation and all that stuff, I mean, JavaScript is going to beat Java every single day of the week in all of those areas. So that's the reason why I argue that TypeScript, JavaScript, etc. Etc. is a, I, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't use it. But even the performance thing is questionable. Because if you look at, depending on what benchmarks you're looking at, sure, you can make Java run faster than Node.js. But you can also, like, it, it depends on, like, how much are you going to sacrifice? Because out of the box, it might not be the case. If you're using Spring, as an example, you might not find that the like the performance thing is such a big factor. If it is a big factor, I would argue that that maybe neither Node or Java would be the primary reason as to like it wouldn't be your first choice, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that when I tell you that I personally believe that TypeScript once like once we have the big float. Uh, implemented so that we can do uh, high precision, like uh, precision, uh, precise calculations with things such as money and so forth. And I argue that there's really no reason for you to use anything besides Node, Deno, TypeScript, etc., etc., for corporate level development, the standard stuff. It is not because I'm not I'm saying that performance or something like that that there is no way for you to find another language such as say Java uh, to do something specific 
better than what Node and TypeScript are going to give you. What I'm saying is that if you look from the holistic picture, and that is usually the thing that matters the most to corporations, to startups and so forth, it's really rare, as I like to say, that something like performance is the only thing that you're focusing on when you're just doing something like you're just creating a digital product. There are companies who care about that stuff, and especially at a larger scale, you might find specific services or specific things that you really need to get the absolute bleeding edge performance out of, but it's not the core common thing. Twitter ran very success successfully on Ruby up to a really large size and I think GitHub is still uh, using Ruby uh, uh, as one of the for one of their main services. So it's like like a unperformant or like uh, like compar comparison wise unperformant language can't scale. It really is as I said about that holistic picture and from the holistic picture in my opinion there is no language today not PHP which is like everybody's usual favorite like web uh, thing or uh, not even not go not rust no nothing there is no language in my opinion that is more suited from a holistic perspective when it comes to web development than TypeScript because once you have both TypeScript on the front end and the back end, like all of it, you already then you have one universal stack. And from a hiring perspective, education perspective, etc., so iteration, like development speed, iteration, so forth, there are so many benefits. There are downsides as well, but from my uh, perspective, the holistic benefit outweighs practically every other language on the market. Have a great day.